Use the Campus Health Center where you be seen by professional doctors in the walk-in clinic. Also, there's a full pharmacy where you can get over-the-counter or prescription drugs. We also have tests done here, such as blood work or STD testing. And um, there's also physical therapy if you need to recover from an injury. Welcome to the Bear Down Gym where the Think Tank is located. This is one of its many locations. Here you can get tutoring in various subjects such as math, science, or second language. Also, you can have a one-on-one -on -one session for individual help. It'll just cost you a little bit of money. By doing this, it will help your grades immensely because it will help you in many different ways. Academic advisors are one of the most useful resources available to students on campus. Each major has at least one advisor that students are able to make appointments with or visit with during walk-in hours. Normally walk-in hours are for shorter questions, while appointments can last anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. It's important to have a question in mind while going in and to make sure you do some research on your question so that you don't waste any of your advisor's time. Advisors can help you pick out classes, work on a graduation plan, change a major, or pick a minor, or help with any other questions you might have. It's important to see an advisor for questions like this so you can make sure you're taking the right classes to work towards your degree. They can also help you make sure you're not taking too many gen eds, help make sure you're taking the right prerequisites for your specific degree, and to help you find scholarships specific to your degree as well. They can also help write recommendation letters for you or be a reference on resumes. Hello. My name is Raymond Thompson, and I'm here to tell you about some academic skills you can develop in order to succeed at the U of A. Time management is an important skill to have. You may have gotten away with procrastination in high school, but it doesn't really work too well here at the university level. Believe me. Don't wait until the last minute to get everything done, and prioritize all your tasks. Useful tools for time management include planners, calendars, and something just as simple as a to-do list. Another important skill to develop is good study habits. Cramming is statistically shown not to be effective, yet many students you meet will do it all the time. The best way to study is little by little. It's almost like going to the gym. You cannot go to the gym for one day and expect results. You should go every day or two or three times a week in order to expect results. If you study a little bit whenever you have downtime, you won't have to worry about making time when it comes time to take the test. It also helps to have good, take good notes during lectures and do the homework as this just increases your familiarity with the subject and gives you something to look back on when you study. I hope these tips were helpful. Good luck and bear down. One hidden treasure located on the U of A campus is the pond. It's located on the southeast corner of Park and Second Street. The pond is home to koi fish and red-eared slider turtles, though in the winter, the sliding turtles may be in hibernation. Around the pond, there are many benches and shaded areas. It's a perfect place and quiet place to come study or hang out with friends. We have many resources available for students all around campus for different needs. The U of A campus has multiple libraries, think tanks, and tutors to ensure that students will get the help they need if they are struggling or just want to study throughout the week. U of A also has many clubs that students can join to get involved inside and outside of campus. The campus has a recreational center that students can go to that is free for all and they have activities and sports to keep students' mental and physical health happy. The campus also has a health center located on the Highland District that offers many things to students including vaccinations, a pharmacy, STD testing, and physical therapy, and much more. The cost of these visits will be transferred confidentially onto your bursary's account. If any students have any additional questions or want to know more about the campus and resources, your advisor is always there for you. You can either go during a walk-in or you can schedule an appointment.